You didn't? No one did. Why? Because it was raining! Downpour. I mean, it... What happened? What it happened? Downpour. It was raining. It was downpour? Did yeah, you get wet? Yeah, crazy. Yes. Yeah, my shirt was wet. Your shirt was wet? Why? Because it was, um, the water leaked through the... We brought more food than we needed. Can you see my eye molecule? That's right. We got a nice little cover here. Tents, boys, and stuff to do. Y'all want to grab some water before we go? It's pretty cool. Eric needs to use the restroom, Dad. Restroom? Yeah. Do it. I'm gonna roll it! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Roll it, roll it! He's videoing it! Go, 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 go! Or not. That's what's gonna happen. You have to get some muscle into it, like this. Ah! Alright. Kind of fun, huh? No. I'd like to welcome everybody out here. I'm Rodney Pidak. I'm assistant scout master with Team Base 76. Got a great group of guys here that are going to hopefully teach you some knots. So if you give them their, your attention, please, and we'll turn it over to Tate, our first guy. All right. Hey, guys. My name is Tate. And uh, I'm a scout. I'm a life scout. Life scout of uh, Team Base 76. Today, I'm going to be teaching you the square knot. The square knot is used for joining two ropes of the same size. What you're gonna do, right, you're not gonna get started, I'm gonna explain it to you first, alright? Then we'll get started, alright? Take a rope in your right hand, a rope in your left hand. Take the rope in your, rope in your right hand, go over one in your left, pull, take the one in your left now, and put it over your right, and pull top. Now, you can tell if it's a square knot because you can do this. You can basically push it together. It's called the journey knot for a reason. Is it well? The only way you can get it untied is to push it apart. Right. 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 Like I showed you guys at the last game. Oh well, my guys, I showed you the last game. Right. 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 Take it apart. See how this one's got oh, an it. end at the top oh, and an end at the top? Right. See how the both ends? Here's the end right. at the top. Jacob. See how they're at the top? It's a regular square knot. Right. 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 You can tie like that. Somebody can retie your knot. They can tie it. One way you can tell them. On the boat? Yeah. No, these guys have it. These guys have it. What? Photographer. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I made it. New. New. Been made before. Take a look at that. Is that the made? Don't go. I can undo it too. Let me see. Hey, Paul, I can do it to midair. Let me see you do it. And I'm going to line, cut a whole thing off. Use that for sure. Sweet. Let's go up, Jared. Did you do it? No, not yet. Wait, Jared. Who's up? Come on, Dimitri, somebody. Let's get going. He's doing all the work. We're at the. Uh, yeah. We're going to attack the cameraman. Structure building, lashings, log ties. Where you tie a rope to a log. Log ties too. And, and then so whether you trying to build a barrier or something. Oh, to keep the wall people out. Oh, to build a barrier. I want to eat food. What do you want? Food. I want a hamburger. Or you already had some lunch, breakfast. Oh, so you tie a rope to the log and you haul it over the... Sorry about that. Now don't take that. Don't feel it off the ground. Slowly. Easy, boys. What are we doing? Mark, Eric, help them. There you go. That's it. 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 That
That's all. You just learn how to pick up a big, large log. Okay, you can pick up. Right. You can tighten the first part to tighten the shoots. Okay. But you don't tighten it down. You use the on uh, this part. Like, uh, is this a timberline? I'm just asking. This is a timberline. So you can call it tight. tight. Timberline hit. Okay. So you're saying, or just timber hit. Yeah. Cheese soup? Cheese soup. Cheese soup. Wow. Go ahead and scoop half that up. Cheddar cheese condensated soup. What are you doing, Dimitri? Tomato. How much are you going to put in there? Put it all in. Half a can? It won't come out if you try keeping your side out. Yeah, just, yeah, get it all out. Because they use half a can. Think of this cooking here. Yeah. Uh, what are we making? What are we making? Well, well, it's it's a a or or no. All right. Blood. 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 Cheese blood. What are we doing? We need some uh, blood. 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 Curry blood and meat sauce? Yeah. Yummy. Right now, what we need to do is get some All right. All right. All right. All right. So now, I do have a can stir this up. Just Yay. get it. Stir it all together. All nice and mashed up together. I'm going to say, it would be good if they reduce the mushroom. Oh, I'm sorry. Rock, paper, scissors. If you're in that group, no, it's hey. already cool. Uh, anyone in my group take turns starting to start a couple stirs and pass it on. I'm going to prepare the Dutch oven for the us to cook it. We got the tortillas, everything down there. cooking our Mexican lasagna. With our soup in it. Sorry, sorry, cream of mushroom soup. What? In a minute. You ask me again, I'm gonna whack, I'm gonna whack you with my stick. Mexican lasagna. Delicious. So, delicious. Are you good, Paul? Yeah. And only one piece is gone in the battery thing. So we're just completing which one? The uh, cooking one. That was station number four. I want the final macaroni and cheese! Mark! Wait, can I love it? Can I love it? I got it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I have it here. They're, they brought back four storage merit badges. One of them is a signaling merit badge. So, between now and December the 31st, if you're in scouts, you can go for those four merit badges, and signaling is one of them. This is also, besides 100 years scouts, this is 150th anniversary for the United States Army Signal Corps. And uh, of course, you maybe saw the movie Windwalkers, where they used the Navajo Code and during World War II and things like that. But this, in the Civil War, they developed something called the wigwag, where on the, the right side it was a, a dit, and then on the left is a dash. And they used flags, and that's that's the Boy Scouts doing it later, where they use actually use Morse code. 
and Morse it's code. used for communication between like ships. Um, so basically, a series of dots and letters. Um, hey, Dimitri, what, what happened? All right. I don't know. Eric broke my leg. Don't try your bandages. Just shake it out, hand it to me. Oh, and then if it's still bleeding, you go on to pressure points. The pressure points, the main artery in your arm is right there. It's, it's spooky. Mm. You'll feel it, shake it out, and the big blood supply gets there. Troop 800 was given recognition for saving a man's life. We were out on a Boy Scout camp out. We were playing volleyball. One of the Boy Scouts was out doing the water ski merit badge. We only had two out at a time. The rest of us had nothing else to do. We heard a cry, somebody calling for help. We went over. Man had climbed up, this is a retirement village, in the back of the woods, the first house next to the beach where we were spending our day. He climbed up on the roof with a load of shingles on his shoulder. And then he went to step onto the roof. He lost his balance. He slipped quite the smooth height that you would think it could be. What happened was, we were on a camp out, and we decided that troop was all settling in, and nobody wanted to go, but you always use a buddy system, and you and I wanted to go and do a high adventure hike, way around a little mountain cliff that we saw that looked real interesting. And after you cover both eyes, you lift this one up so you can see out of the good eye. Huh. Okay, there we go. All right, you got you. Okay, there we are. All right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now, can we still save Troop 800? Oh, I don't know. We are one heck of a trooper there. Okay, we're tripping along, we're tripping along, we're tripping along. Okay, we're almost in the campsite. We're almost getting there. Hey, there's this little path, and it's real, real narrow. You've got to put one foot in front of the other. And be careful, because if you slide down, Solid rock at an angle and it's going to hurt. Who's going to have that much triangular range? I don't know. But if you had some, you'd be in good shape. Yeah, but we're going to be in good shape. And then what you do is you make a belt. You make a belt out of this little thing. Okay, so you have to make the belt out of this little thing. And then you make a belt out of a second triangular image by rolling the peak of the first triangular image. Our leaders take us camping and show 
Michaela, spirit leader of these Cub Scouts. I have been working through these Cub Scouts, den leaders, Cub Masters, parents, and others who have been striving to help them along their trail of the Cub Scout. We are assembled here to recognize these Scouts who have traveled the Cub Scout trail with honor. In our and are ready to receive its highest award. At times their trail has been marked and their journey easy, but at other times their trail steep, tangled, and slippery. It is at these difficult times that I, Akela, have been present in the spirit of a parent, den leader, or other caring person to help the scout find his path. I now call on our chief to tell you a story that has been passed on through generations through generations. A far and dry southwestern desert was an Indian village with a high mountain towered above. It was considered a great feat to climb this mountain, so all the young braves were eager to try it. So one day the chief said, tomorrow after the morning meal, you will climb this mountain and you will go as far as you can. When you can go no further, you may return, but you must bring him back something from where you left off. The next day after the morning meal, the young braves set off full of hope and thinking that they, surely they can reach the top of the mountain. An hour passed and the first boy returned. He was sweating and puffing. He, the chief said, my boy, you barely got started. You did not reach the foot of the mountain, nor did you finish cross the desert finished crossing the desert, but you did your best and I will call you Tiger Cub. Another hour passed and the next boy returned, and in his hands he held a portion of sagebrush. The chief said, my boy, you crossed the desert and you made it to the foot of the mountain, but you did not start your climb, and you did your best and I will call you Bobcat. Another hour passed and the next boy returned, and in his hands he held pieces of grass. The chief said, my boy, you made it as high as the meadows, and you did your best and I will call you Wolf. Several hours after the noon meal, the next boy returned, and in his hands he held pieces of pine needles. The chief said, my boy, you made it halfway up the mountain, and you did your best, and I will call you Bear. Late in the afternoon, the next boy returned, and in his hands he held pieces of aspen leaves. The chief said, my boy, you made it three quarters way up the mountain, and you did your best, and I will call you Weeblo. The sun was low in the sky when the last boy returned, and in his hands he held nothing. He was a tall, splendid boy with noble character, and he was radiant as he spoke. He said, my father, where I went there were no aspen leaves or sagebrush. Where I went there was nothing. There were mountains upon mountains, and upon that there was a shining sea. The chief's face glowed as he spoke now. He said, my son, I knew it when I looked upon your face. You have seen the top of this mountain. It is written in your eyes and it rings in your voice. My son. You have seen that you have a token in you. I see an arrow of light. Hello? These young scouts have reached the top of the Cub Scout program, but beyond this mountain, there are many more of the Boy Scout program. These peaks must be climbed to reach the shining sea of adulthood beyond. To this point, they have a trail, they have left a trail for others to follow. And from this point on, a path has been left by others who have gone before you to follow. In turn, you will leave your own path, which can be followed by those to come after you. Today, we honor these We Below Scouts who have achieved the highest rank in the Cub Scout program, the Arrow of Light. We Below has a wonderful message. We be loyal scouts. It is an honor to present the arrow of light to these Weeblos scouts who have in turn brought honor to our Weeblos tribe. Our wise elder will tell you about the seven virtues encompassed by the by the Weeblos program. Wisdom. 
Being wise does not mean that a person is smarter than others. It means he uses what he knows to live a better life. Courage. Courage does not mean that you have no fear of danger. It means that you can face danger in spite of your fear. Self-control. This means being able to stop when you've had enough of something, such as eating or playing, even when it's difficult to do so. Justice. Justice means being fair with others when you play or and work with, regardless of who they are. Faith. Faith is belief in God and things we cannot see, but that we know in our hearts are true. Hope. Hope means to look forward to good things you believe will happen. You hope for better things tomorrow, but at the same time, you work hard today in order to make them happen. Love. There are many kinds of love. Love is family, hope, fellow man, God, and country. Every kind of love is important to pull for a full and happy life. These Weeblo scouts have diligently climbed the Cub Scouting Trail. Weeblo's den leaders, you have had much to do with the progress of these young Weeblo scouts. Do you think them worthy of receiving? <laughs> to search out and find those who have earned the arrow of light. Would the following packs please stand up? Pack 7, 11. Giovanni Ortiz. Mark Terriac. Eric Greilich.
Dimitri Wagner. Jared Birdsong. I now call pack 723. Please stand up. Eric, Eric, pitcher. Matthew Graham. Okay. Just a group pitcher. You go, Dimitri. There you go. Hold on, let me take a picture. There they are. Say cheese. Look, 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 everybody. Cheese. Cheese. I now call myself is also exemplified by the points of the scout law. A scout is cheerful. A scout is brave. A scout is thrifty. A scout is clean. We want to always observe that part of our life, the scout oath of promise that teaches us to help other people at all times. This is shown in the scout law as a scout is helpful. A scout is friendly. A scout is courteous. A scout is kind. And the greatest of the scout's obligations is to do our duty to God and our country. Which is spoken in the scout law as a scout is trustworthy. A scout is loyal. A scout is obedient. A scout is reverent. As we observe these fires, the virtues which they represent should, grow, should glow brighter in our hearts. They're parents. As we transition during the bridging ceremony, you may briefly join your We Below Scouts for photographs. Shortly, we will call for all parties to participate in the bridging process. We Below's, please remain in your present location until called. Dimitri Wagner. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's go. go. Jared Birdsong. Birdsong. Up to accept your new. Just wait a minute. <laughs> Ten minutes left of that cake. Talk on it, Eric. Say, I'm recording right I'm now. I'm recording Rachel in her mad mood. I'm zoomed up her face. All that mad, grumpy face look. Those nerdish glasses. Hey, <laughs> and that well, big, fat nose. <laughs> and that in.